Hello. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, yes. Your name is Hide. Yes, I'm Hide. I'm Stacy. Nice to meet you. Stacy, nice to meet you. So I got your note today. You want to do all of the speaking? Yes. Perfect. So tell me about yourself. Um, I'm living in Tokyo and I'm calling a freelance designer. And um, let's see. Is that like graphic like design? What type of graphic designer? Graphic design and uh, web design. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have to make make a website for client, but um, sometimes I also make a graphic design, a logo design, business tools, um, the posters, yeah, things like that. Um, learning English. Uh, the reason why I started learning English is because I would belong to a folding design company someday. So you want to make your own design company one day? Um, I'm run my own business, but um, uh, just being a freelancer. But uh, I want to look for something new. Still being a designer, but working with falling client, or it's okay to belong to falling company oh a foreign company okay i see so you actually you want to change from being a freelancer to a contracted designer yes or yeah um being a freelancer in um uh, within a foreign Japan company. was the best choice because being a design being a freelancer is absolutely much my lifestyle. Are you also a freelancer? Uh, no, I, I'm a teacher. I work for an international school here mm -hmm. in Cambodia. So doing Cambodia is a secondary job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I just started it because of the pandemic. So mm -hmm. uh, just to do some like extra work while being at home. Mm -hmm. Uh, is Cambodian school still, um, what do you call this? Um, open. Open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's currently the school holidays. Mm. So, because of Christmas, it's the Christmas holidays uh, right uh. now. So, how was your 2021 like, life? The like, year? Yeah, oh, it was an amazing or, year, yeah. yeah. Um, no. So, the school's been closed, like, on and off. <laughs> so yeah sometimes we were working from home sometimes we're in school then working from home so yeah it's been it's been really hard i suppose in that aspect mm -hmm. but um i've really enjoyed um this year and last year uh i was working a lot before the pandemic mm -hmm. and i feel like i had a lot more freedom to pursue things that i wanted to do so like teaching on Cambly. Mm -hmm. Which is really good because next year I want to travel so I can continue to teach on Cambly. I can have mm. a job anywhere in the mm. world. So it allows me to live anywhere and still work. So that's really good. Mm. Um, and yeah, I get to, you know, I'm actually planning on designing a website for teaching. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's something I want to do so I can start working on that and start creating materials and things. So yeah, I'm excited. Mm. So you mean you want to you want to start your own teaching business? Yeah, basically, yeah. I want to mm. move more into freelance market. Mm. Like, like not only Cambodia, but anywhere. Yeah, international. Yeah. Mm. So do you have um, any partners for the business? Nope, mm. just me. Okay. Sounds interesting. Uh, I can, like, as you listen, I can speak some sort of English, but not complete, not um, adequate level. But I wish I were you, like, 
going to everywhere and still working by using your uh, skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I also <laughs> I have sort of about um, working other countries and uh, working as a designer, working with Japanese client or uh, the other country's client, but uh, I'm kind of, um, I'm being hesitant to uh, start. Why? Mm. What's holding you back? Uh, just speaking English seems really difficult, like hardship to me. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm, um, I can speak enough, um, like leaving other countries. Just to be honest, it's the best way to learn. Mm. If you immerse yourself in an English speaking country, you have to learn. Mm. You'll be using it every day. Yeah, I think so. So I just register 15 minutes, five days. It's not yeah. so, um, it's too short to improve. Well, no, it's, it's good because, you know, you get 15 minutes of speaking, but don't mm. forget, like, in your own time, you know, read English articles, listen to English mm. audiobooks or podcasts. Like, yeah. all of these things are going to help you. And um, a lot of people focus too much on the studying. But if you find something that you're interested in, so say you want to, you know, look at famous graphic designers who travel, follow like an English designer who has a blog. Uh, Yeah, read the blog. Like when you start to read content in English, but it's something you're interested in, you're more likely to want to read it. If you're reading like English grammar blogs, it's like boring. Yeah, (laughs) dull. Nobody Actually, I, I have that kind of case. Like, I like uh, I like K-pop music, but um, some K-pop musician f- comes from other countries, origin. So, I actually listen to the K-pop, uh, not K-pop, but Korean culture podcast, but spoken in English. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's helped a lot. Or uh, what else? Uh, I also like to watch uh, Netflix drama like Sex Education. Oh yeah. There was uh, that was it, by UK, right? It's a is it British or is it American? I can't remember. A British, I think. Really, I haven't seen it. Uh, mm. For me, I think it's a little bit young. Mm. Like I'm, I'm older than I look. Like I'm like thirty, so I don't know if it's like my um, kind of style. Really? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Same age. Uh, before seeing this, I just saw uh, sex education was just depicting the like extraordinarily girls and boys uh, preference about uh, like this. Like sex, mm-hmm. yeah. the preferences, yeah. But it's actually um, depicting their like rural area British students' lifestyle. They, yeah, yeah. You know this? Um, it's kind of like a, and we have a. So I grew up watching Skins. Skins, Skins is like yeah, another like British. Mm. same kind of thing so it's about what teenagers in the uk mm. do and like it's like their attitude like and it's very northern so it's like literally like where i grew up mm. like you what mate <laughs> <laughs> so the accent is like very different you know? yeah yeah they had strong ac- a strong accent mm-hmm. uh... do you find it easy to understand easy to understand um yeah, sometimes on uh, the most of like um, adult characters speaks speak very really slowly, but when it comes to speed, our uh, students are really <laughs> first <laughs> and exciting. It's, yeah, it's it's natural. Like mm-hmm. in the UK, like we speak so fast, mm-hmm. especially the younger generation. 
for sure. Like, yeah, mm. much faster. Do, um, do you think you get um you becoming really slowly speaking speak? Mm. Yeah, I speak much slower because I'm a teacher and mm -hmm. my accent is very neutral. So I can do like a northern accent and I can do like a, a southern accent. Mm. If you'd like me to speak like the queen, that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I think uh, in Japan, we have also... Accents. I don't know if it's correct to say accent or... We can say direct dialect. Okay. Yeah. We have a bunch of directs and um, mostly um, it's measure. There is a there are me two major dialects in Western and East, and the Western is um, sometimes totally different. It's not a uh, accent or tone. But yours, the, the word itself is different. So like the whole English, word. Whole word. Well, what did you say? Yeah, the whole uh, word. Whole yeah, word, yes. Okay. Um, but sometimes, uh, my actually my wife is from Western, has a Western dialect, and it, that. Is generally speaking, many many people in Japan uh, literally um, think the Western dialect is cute, more like uh, easy to um, more just cute. Yeah, yeah, it has like a. It's like in the UK, like they say the Irish accent is like mm. cute, like it's really nice, mm. and Welsh. Mm. Like the when it's like a girl and she's speaking like Irish or Welsh, they're like, "Oh, it's lovely," mm -hmm. but then like when you get like a Scottish person, they're like, "Oh, mm. Scotland!" Like it's very deep. Ah, very like, uh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. So, uh, you personally, do you think? What do you think about um? Uh, I've never heard of uh, what British people think about the American accent again there's so many different accents like if you compare like texas to new york very different 